In a dramatic turn of events, Palantir Technologies has surged 136% over the past three months since its last earnings report. A remarkable feat driven by CEO Alex Karp's resolute endorsements of the firm's AI products and the surging demand for them. This rally has left short sellers nursing significant losses, yet it has failed to completely win over the cautious sentiment among Wall Street analysts, many of whom have twice as many sell ratings as buy recommendations according to Bloomberg data. Despite the fervor surrounding Palantir's AI capabilities, some experts like David Mazza of Roundhill Financial Inc. remain cautiously skeptical. While we know Palantir is involved with AI, much of its technology remains unproven, Mazza remarked, emphasizing the necessity for greater progress to validate the company's valuation. Palantir's capacity to substantiate the excitement around its products is pivotal for how its upcoming earnings report will be received by investors. Notably, the company's executives focus on success measured in decades rather than quarters, and while this long-term vision is embraced, short-term performance remains a key driver of market sentiment. According to data compiled by Bloomberg, options trading suggests a potential stock movement of about 14% in either direction following the earnings release. The discrepancy between excitement and caution is most evident in the analysis of Palantir's valuation. Brian White, an analyst at Monis Crespi Hart & Company, highlighted that while the company is well-positioned to capitalize on AI and big data trends, its valuation is rich at approximately 16 times projected sales. White warned that challenging times may lie ahead and questioned whether Palantir's commercial business could weather economic turbulence. Additionally, questions loom over Palantir's pricing strategy for its AI products, a crucial factor that has garnered limited attention in discussions thus far. Brent Thill at Jeffrey's LLC noted this absence and expressed concerns about both the pricing of Palantir's AI offerings and the durability of its increased revenue from the private sector. In contrast, optimists like Daniel Ives of Wedbush Securities anticipate Palantir's potential to thrive. Ives foresees the company capitalizing on its AI products over the next 6 to 12 months, which could provide the evidence necessary to drive valuation multiples even higher. The surge in Palantir's stock price has led short sellers to face substantial losses, with estimates indicating approximately $1.7 billion in paper losses. Despite these setbacks, short interest as a percentage of shares available to trade has receded from its peak in May, signaling a partial retreat of short sellers. While Palantir may not have achieved the cult-like following of meme stocks such as GameStop or AMC Entertainment Holdings, the company continues to command persistent interest from investors and traders alike. According to David Mazza of Roundhill Financial, this long-term interest remains a constant, suggesting that, barring unforeseen catastrophes, Palantir's allure is here to stay. Amidst the Palantir buzz, the tech giant Apple has faced a notable setback, sinking 4.8% following disappointing results. This decline marked Apple's largest one-day percentage drop since September, causing its market valuation to fall below the historic $3 trillion threshold. Furthermore, Palantir's stock has experienced a 3% decline on the day, capturing attention on social media as anticipation builds for the company's second quarter earnings report, which is poised for release after the market closes today. Palantir's impressive performance reflects its dominance in the AI landscape. Bolstered by optimism surrounding generative AI, the company has positioned itself as a global leader a sentiment validated by its top ranking in market share and revenue in a worldwide artificial intelligence software study conducted by the International Data Corporation, IDC. From a financial standpoint, Palantir has displayed its mettle by reporting its second consecutive quarter of profitability. In the first quarter of 2023, the company achieved its first-ever operating profit of $4.1 million, while total revenue increased by 18% year over year, to $525 million. Furthermore, the company's free cash flow soared ninefold year over year to $182.6 million. Palantir's customer base has also expanded significantly, reflecting the company's appeal and relevance. The number of total customers jumped by an impressive 41% year over year, with commercial customers surging by 52%. This surge in customer count is mirrored in the growth of the company's contract value which escalated by 60% year-over-year to $397 million. Billings followed suit, increasing by 25% year-over-year to $614 million.